Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to draw an involute of a pentagon. So first, let us understand what is involute of a pentagon. Suppose a pentagonal plate that is wound with a rope whose length is equal to the perimeter of the pentagon. When unwound the rope, path traced out by the end points of the rope while unwounding is known as the involute of a pentagon. So let's begin the step by step process to draw it. In the given problem, side length of pentagon is given as a 20 mm. First, take a ruler and draw horizontal line of 20 mm. Next, take a protector and keep it at the end points of line and mark a point at 72 degree. After this, using this point as a reference point, draw a line of 20 mm. Next, take a compass and set a length equal to 20 mm. And using this point as a center, cut an arc as shown. Join this point which complete the pentagon. Label the vertices as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Give the dimensions of one side 1 to 2 that is 20 mm. Now draw a line from point number 1 whose length should be equal to the perimeter of the pentagon. The perimeter means sum of all the sides. So 20 multiply 5 sides equal to 100 millimeter. And divide this line into 5 equal parts. The 5 side of the pentagon. Label these points as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. After this, we have to extend the lines from the point 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now take a compass and point 2 as the center, draw an arc on this line. Next adjust it to the length 1, 2, 3 and using point 3 as a center, draw an arc on this line and so on. Follow the same process. Adjust the length 1 to 1, the final length 100 millimeter and using point 1 as a center draw an arc. This complete the required involute of a pentagon. After this in the last Label the locus points P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and P1 and give the dimensions. So students, this is how you can construct an involute of a pentagon. Practice this method and you will be able to construct an involute of a pentagon of any given dimensions of a pentagon. Write the name of the curve, involute of a pentagon. Thank you for watching.